yes once again welcome to another video of LMOMS series and today we're gonna be talking about LMOMS workflow setting up VST plugins and samples piano roll and all the features in piano roll so when you open up LMOMS uh, this is how it looks like um, yeah right here so there are a lot of things that you can adjust that you don't need when you're starting up a project like the automation truck you definitely don't need that uh, and with the kind of workflow that I want to show you in this video you don't need a baseline editor so we're gonna eliminate that, that. and we don't need a sample truck also the only thing we can use is the triple oscillator so you can always double click inside uh, and this is how the piano roll looks like so if you don't see uh, the notes labeled uh, on, on your left side that is because you didn't enable that so you can change that when you go to um, file and settings you can always check that it's, it's right here you can always check that and press ok so when you restart LMOMS, uh, definitely your piano roll will look like this one. And the other thing is about um, effects. Let's say you want to add an effect, um, like half time. Yeah, half time. So some of you guys. Uh, don't know how to set up your uh, uh, VST VST you don't know how to set up your VST uh, effects so uh, before anything else you can always go back to settings and see where uh, right here on files and see where your uh, where LMMS keeps your VST and it's right here it's C program file VST plugins so that's where you always gonna drop your VSTs. So let's go check it out and see. So it's right, uh, it's C, uh, project files, and it's VST plugins right here. So whenever you install a new plugin, you can always copy its DLL file and drop it right here. As you can see, I have a lot of plugins, uh, effect tricks, a git tune, a guitar rig, compact control pitch proof, all these uh, plugins. You can always install and copy the DLL file and drop it in this folder. And when you restart your error moments, it will definitely pop up when, when you search for it. Just like uh, I've just in installed a new uh, plugin that's called camel crusher i use it mostly uh, during um, 808s when i'm working with 808s so uh, another thing you you may notice that uh when you open up your elements probably you don't have these samples uh you can always add them too uh, by going to your program files again um, sorry, yeah, program files, LMOMS, uh, data, and samples. So you can always drop here your samples. Let's say you made your own yourself a drum kit, you can always drop it in here, and you can you don't need to, to breathe for it, you just have to uh, come breathe through uh, for easy workflow. So Having said that, those words, let's get into the piano roll of LMOMS. So there are some, uh, I know some people get challenges regarding, let's say, hi-hats. Uh, let me pick some hi-hats. So uh, let me pencil in some, some hi-hat loop going through like that one yeah so
so you see you you can always want to put the scenario is whereby you want to make a double uh, or triple more or more high heart rolls you can always change that um let me let me zoom this up so there is this feature whereby you change um the, the the boxes i call them the boxes that are in a in a bow anything whatever it is called you can always switch up like uh, 1 over 36 i mean 1 over 32 it puts extra boxes <laughs> i'm sorry if i don't know how they call that but yeah and the same with 1 over 64 so let's say you want to put a row here you can you can put it like that whereby formally with 1 over 16 you can't make that you can't do that you can't put here a roll you see it's always snapped to uh, to 1 over 16 I mean the grid so you definitely uh, want to use this feature to make high rolls and all that and for some music genres you, you don't always have to use 1 over 16 you have to switch up um, and use one out of 24 one of one over 48 whatever you want to use so yeah uh, another thing um, with the triple oscillator um, it's about choosing a scale that you want to work with uh, LMMS has a lot of scales here that you can work with um, let me pull up here FSD real quick and I show you what what I really mean one of my favorite skis on classic you can download that um, from VSTs uh, for free.com I put that in the link description so um, you can choose a scale to work with let's say a major scale harmonic minor melodic minor all these scales and my favorite scale is the major scale so when you when when you when you choose a major scale um you come here on the piano roll and if you want to work with a c major scale or d major scale or e f sharp whichever scale you want to work with you just come and right click so here it's g sharp right click and mark current scale so what element does is to highlight all the notes that are in the in g sharp scale uh, and you can uh, you can never go wrong when when working in the in the g major and you can always switch up uh you can unmark and you, you select g um g major scale max scale that's the major scale you can choose a uh, melodic minor you can choose you can still mark the scale you see it's switching up so this this tool is basically uh, helpful when when you're making melodies now uh, sorry there is also this tool it's, uh, it's how how long the, the note is going to be uh, you don't really need this a lot but so let me just um, placing um, notes you can always place in writing notes um, following the highlighted notes whereby you can never go wrong when um, when you have all the notes snap on one scale you see so you can you can definitely do that that would be wrong so you can always snap that um, so and pencil in whatever you want to pencil in uh, and this yeah so you can always pencil in whatever you want to whatever you want to pencil in so yeah uh, and you <laughs> never hesitate to use your ears So I have 
have those chords running through. So if I want to write a melody, I can always come here and press whatever I want to play. Another cool feature in LMOS. Another cool feature in LMOS is that you can press Control. Uh, this enables a highlight tool, and you can highlight all of that. That it is the same tool as this one, but it's kind of time-consuming to always press here and here and over that. So you can just press control highlight highlight whatever you want to highlight so let's say i want to copy this over to another uh, bar or anything else i just control and press shift and i drag and i drop it where i want to drop it like that this note it's not snap and this one is not snap too so I think I didn't copy it right so I'm gonna do that again yep right there so with that I've created something that you can vibe on from scratch nothing hard and you can you can build from that just like you see and you can copy this and you already have a song you already have a track that which you just gonna have to add a kick a snare and hi-hat and it runs through Another cool feature in LMM is whereby, um, let me explain this real quick. So, if you want to record while uh, other 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 stuff are playing in the background, let's say you have you want to record uh, your kick while the uh, the snare that 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 piano and everything is playing in the background, you press this one. But if you just want to record, let's say you want to play uh, something, let's say you have your MIDI keyboard uh, connected with your LMMS, you just have to press this one. Uh, nothing crazy going on in the background. And, uh, and you play what you want to play, it's endless. Uh, which is different when you press this one. You see? The, the snare and the hi-hat are playing in the background so that's another cool feature that you really uh, love to use in LMOS so basically this is what um, I intended to show you in this video I hope you love the video I hope uh, it motivates you and um, you know get you started with with lmms in a way whichever way my like just uh, uh, and don't forget to come to comment in and tell me what kind of content you want me to drop in in the, in the coming videos thank you for watching my name is arnold zod and i drop lmms tutorials every week please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification it really helps a lot thank you